Well, hey everybody, I'm Paul Gross. Let's get you updated on the forecast here. We are in that warm sector, solidly in the mass of warm air. It's around the edges that you get all the weather, and this is quite a conveyor belt of moisture coming across the area. We're going to see periods of rain throughout the day. Now, if you're looking for any part of the day where there's going to be just a chance for a serious break, it's only going to be a few hours, maybe two, three hours, but early this evening, there could be a bit of a break, particularly to the south and east. So if you want to maybe go out for a jog and take advantage of the 60 degree weather, maybe take the dog for a walk, fingers crossed. Again, this is a model. It's not always right, but, but this time I think it does have a handle on things. There could be a break from the rain early this evening, but this front continues marching across the state. That brings the rain back into the area by late evening. And notice there's rain behind the front. That's not always the case. In this case, there is. So two things. First of all, we're going to start the day tomorrow still with some light rain in the area, but also as this front goes through, that's the front edge of the colder air, and we're going to start seeing temperatures nosedive after this thing comes through. So most of the night will actually be in the upper 50s to near 60. Then the front comes through. Tomorrow morning, again, we start off with a little rain, but by lunchtime, I think the rain is off to the east, and we start the day in the 40s tomorrow. I want you to remember this. We're going to start in the 40s and then fall into the 30s during the afternoon. So what you feel when you leave for work tomorrow morning is not what it's going to feel like when you head home later in the day. Might finish the day with a bit of sunshine, but more clouds coming back in. And see that down there? Yeah, there's another rain chance as we head toward the end of the week. Now, as far as rain amounts, now we have this flood watch continuing in effect, and here's why. For the calendar day today, now this includes what's already fallen this morning and what will fall this afternoon and tonight. The area could be receiving another one to two inches of rain. So you put that on the frozen ground. Again, it can't soak in anywhere and add the melting snow. That's just a lot of water that just has to run off somewhere. So that's lakes and streams and low lying areas. So flooding is a problem. We've already had some street flooding reported in the area today. So please be careful when you head out today. The high temperature. We're going to be in the mid 60s for a high far to the north. You'll still make it to around 60. So this is a very warm day and the record high is 63 degrees. So keep in mind that we're going to probably break that record officially at Metro Airport. So tonight after the front goes through, we fall into the 40s by late tonight and then we then move through the 30s in the afternoon tomorrow. Those temperatures will be falling a break on Thursday and then look at this. We have not heavy rain, but we have light rain chances Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So it's not trivial rain, but it's not going to be the rain that we're seeing right now.